The Thales Group is a French company that develops electronics for militaries, defense and security, and aerospace sectors around the globe. Producing an expansive catalog of military equipment, ranging from rapid-fire mortar systems to handheld radios, Thales has also produced a widely successful night vision device, the Lucy. Hey guys, this is Airsoft and CT, and today we're taking a look at the Lucy NVG system. Check out the description below for timestamps to jump around to the parts you want to see. Lucy's were designed in 1996, only eight years after the PVS-7, and they revolutionized Cyclops-style nods. Used by British, French, and German armed forces, these night vision goggles drastically reduce the size and weight while improving performance and features. The standard Thales Lucy NVG system is 126 millimeters long, 68 millimeters wide, and 75 millimeters tall. Even better, such a compact package comes at less than 435 grams with the battery inserted. This is less than 0.2 pounds heavier than a standard PVS-14 with the added benefit of dual ocular lenses. Inside, these nods come standard with a Photonis XD4 Gen 2 Plus green phosphorus tube. However, later or upgraded models can house a Gen 3 tube. With the dual ocular lenses and a single objective lens, the Lucy's have a 51 degree field of view. This system accepts AA batteries, which will last about 45 hours with a 1.5 volt battery and 70 hours with a 3.6 volt. Using the Lucy's is fairly easy. When in hand and with the battery inserted, press and turn the on off toggle. To turn on a permanent infrared light, turn once more. If you do not want the IR light to remain on, this button on the front will turn on a momentary infrared light. Rotating the ring on the objective lens adjusts the focus of the nods. Meanwhile, adjusting each of the rings on the ocular lenses adjusts the gain. A feature that is similar to other NVG devices is the auto shutoff, which is activated using magnets that can be seen on the mount. Now, let's check out the Lucy's at night. You may notice that I do have some blems in the third quadrant, however this doesn't really affect my line of sight. Each country has their own similar mounting system. However, most have the same main components. The front claw, the rear claw, the rubber strap, and the Lucy bracket. The Germans added another level of complexity and designed multiple options for different helmets. The first of which is the M92, or standard Bundeswehr Gefechts helm. This mount has a low profile and a tapered rear claw. The next claw is an MSA TC APH claw, which is for the helmets that are used by the KSK and EGB forces. This rides slightly higher and has a wider base. The rear claw of this one is more rectangular than the standard claw. The last variant is one for the TC3000. This one sits far higher than the rest, and while I don't currently have an example, I do have a modified Lucy mount that an EGB member used to simulate the height of this TC3000 claw. Another mounting system is a more recent development. In the past 10 years, the Bundeswehr has begun transitioning to OpsCore style NVG shrouds. They've come up with an adapter system to continue using Lucy hardware. However, some soldiers took it into their own hands and created their own. Whether that was hand machine like this example or 3D printed like this one, the design is relatively the same. The last mounting option is of a style that is infamous in the US Army, however, this option is vastly more comfortable. The Lucy Skull Crusher is an adjustable padded system that allows the operator to wear soft covers or hoods during use. It is similar to the Naruto style Skull Crusher and came standard with an issued Lucy NVG. German Lucy's come with a slew of other accessories. While I do not have the original soft or hard case, I do have a very rare German-issued Linderhof night vision pouch. I also have some eyepiece accessories such as the objective lens cover, ocular lens cover, and eye cups to conceal the green light splashing on the wearer. If you are interested in getting your hands on Lucy NVGs, your best bet would be a private sale. Unfortunately, no retailers are selling the system at the moment of recording this video. However, they can be found on the secondary market for anywhere from three to 5,000 euros, depending on condition and version. 
I decided to purchase Lucy NVGs to go along with my German impression kit. However, I've quickly found that they are a vastly superior system to the PVS-14 for what I use them for and for my preferences. I thoroughly enjoy having the dual ocular lenses as it makes seeing in the night much easier and my eyes don't have to try to focus on two different things. For more information, I would highly recommend checking out the Firearm Blogs article on the Lucy's. The link is in the description below. Thanks for checking out this video. This is Airsoft NCT, and we will see you in the next one.